Welcome, comrades, to another edition of The Mark's Love Show. Episode 2, Juggalo Politics. Walking and talking, enjoying the sun, doing what needs to be done. You know, it it it's, it, it makes my heart just glow. There's so many juggalos out there that seem to care. Politics, the science of government. In the right context, most things in life can be seen as political. <laughs> if you shoot yourself in the face because you feel like it, that's not inherently political. <laughs> On the other hand, if you were to strap a bomb to your chest, and kill yourself in the vicinity of your enemy. Your suicide is definitely political. In that sense, politics can be seen as pretty much anything that affects others, whether through direct control or perceived influence. When politics affects enough people, we have historically used political systems as a means of distributing authority over society. One example of a political system is DEMOCRACY! Americans and juggalos alike tend to think of ourselves as belonging to a democracy where our voice is heard, our vote is counted, and that we all have the right to assemble and form separate parties that reflect our interests. This is a lie. America does what is best for the empire and the military-industrial complex that runs it. Meanwhile, the Insane Clown Posse has profits as their first priority. Juggalos, once called priceless, are now no longer anything more than breathing ATMs. <laughs> but all things can change, and I believe family will be reunited someday, in both spirit and body. Not in the afterlife, but now, in our lifetimes, by our actions. <laughs> Part 2 Is the Insane Clown Posse political? In 1991, Insane Clown Posse told the world Yeah, shit on a rebel flag! A few rebel flag! This was pretty fucking political. 
while many disenfranchised white folk fell into the claws of those preaching a return to them good old days. The clowns spit on such conservative concepts. They were not the targets of these racists, yet they saw these bigots as their enemy. Highlighting the red neck of the racists and advocating for hunting them down, shooting them, and turning them into dog food is highly fucking holy moly political. The Insane Clown Posse is able to do all of this on one song, one that we all know and love, Chicken Hunt. could say they aren't being serious. If that's the case, their work still stands as powerful anti-racist propaganda. Jungle those can literally yell, Who's going chicken hunting? And if there is a juggalo in the vicinity, they will yell back, We's going chicken hunting. We are not referring to actual chickens when we yell this to each other, and we fucking know it. The anti-racist politics that exist in Juggalo culture are part of our collective roots. So I take it as my goal to shine some light on this and other political aspects of being a Juggalo. <laughs> Get your ass up and go drink some water. Make sure you're hydrated for the slaughter. Get your ass up and go drink some water. Make sure you're hydrated for the slaughter. Water. The only liquid you need to survive. <laughs> What is a juggalo? This show is made primarily for my juggalo family. If you don't know what a juggalo is, then you aren't my target audience. You can look that shit up elsewhere, my friend. You might be surprised. Maybe you'll find something that pulls you in. For family, I think it is important for me to define what I mean when I say juggalo. In the context of Marx's lowest theory, juggalo is a gender neutral term used for all members of the family. All political ideologies or religious affiliations are secondary to the solidarity felt between us here in the Juggalo family. Every Juggalo is my potential homie and will be treated as such. That is the family. <clears throat> Keep in mind, these are only the definitions used by Marxalos. Other Juggalos might have a slightly different definition that they adhere to. Juggalos, as I mentioned in my Halloween episode, Unlike any family, a variety of individuals, each with their own complex belief systems. As you can see here, by the Juggalos gathered there today, there's a lot of fucking belief systems on display. 
Whether it's a Chinese juggalo supporting the Communist Party or a grab em by the posse juggalo supporting Donald Trump. Whether it's just homies just out there trying to represent that juggalo love or whether it's someone else out there trying to make some more of a political expression. All juggalos are welcome and all juggalos were welcome at the march. It was kind of an interesting thing to see such an interesting group of people all stuck together having a good time. It's one of those things that you just don't see often in other parts of society. Juggalos seem to have a political bent to them that, given the chance, they seem more than willing to express. It's uh, my belief that, given more opportunities, Juggalos would unite, Juggalos would come together, and Juggalos would do what needs to be done to fuck the motherfucker. Come, there is still much to be done.